Almost every healthy diet plan you see suggests eating more fish. It's high in protein and low in fat. But a new study by a San Francisco physician suggests caution when it comes to eating certain fish. Matt Mahar investigates in today's headline story. Yeah. Fresh fish. It's good for your brain, your heart, your cholesterol. But certain fish may also have a hidden danger. Our investigation found that some of the fish you eat may contain high levels of potentially toxic mercury. I didn't think I had much time to live. Wendy Morrow used to eat fish three to five times per week. Then this 40-year-old California mom started feeling pain in her arms and legs, so bad she could hardly walk. Not knowing what it was, was the worst. Finally, Wendy turned to San Francisco physician Dr. Jane Hightower, who found that Wendy's mercury level was more than three times normal. Wendy is just one of dozens of Dr. Hightower's patients who were suffering the symptoms of mercury poisoning. As a result of a study Dr. Hightower conducted with her patients, she believes there is a correlation between high levels of mercury and eating large amounts of certain types of fish. I was alarmed by what I was finding. So how does the mercury get in the fish? Pollution for the most part. And this mercury can be extremely dangerous, causing damage to the brain, the nervous system, and the kidneys. But for doctors, the symptoms can be very confusing. Hair loss, stomach ache, nausea, troubles thinking, fatigue, uh, joint pain, muscle aches. So we went to fish markets to test for mercury levels. Can I get uh, one tuna steak and one swordfish steak? Inside Edition bought 25 pieces of fish, swordfish, tuna, and shark, sending them to Indiana's HML laboratory for testing. Experts say what we found is reason for concern. Of the 25 samples, eight had mercury levels above the FDA limits. Dr. Hightower evaluated our findings, immediately focusing on the swordfish. Of nine swordfish, five out of the nine were over the FDA recommendation. In fact, two pieces of swordfish had nearly twice the mercury allowed by federal guidelines. But swordfish isn't the only fish that may contain high levels of mercury. Other large fish that are sold as steaks, like tuna, halibut, and shark, can be a concern. Two of the ahi tuna samples we tested had high levels of mercury. One of them was even cooked. You're not going to do anything by cooking mercury. I mean, that's not going to destroy. And what about canned tuna, the most popular fish eaten by Americans? Previous studies have found canned tuna fairly low in mercury. The two cans of name brand tuna we tested both had safe mercury levels. But experts say you still need to be cautious. I think that if you're an adult, if you're a small woman, uh, probably no more than one can a week, especially if you eat other fish. If you're a man, probably no more than two cans a week. But Richard Gutting, the head of the National Fisheries Institute, which represents commercial fishermen, believes fish should be part of your regular diet. We know fish is good for you. It's very important that we not overly concern the population so that they turn away from what is a very healthful food. He has his own advice for fish eaters. I'd like to, you to eat fish and seafood. I'd like you to eat it every day, but eat a variety. Don't, don't obsess with any one particular fish. But one thing is clear, Wendy Morrow is going to be a lot more cautious about eating fish. And there are some fish that have typically low levels of mercury, among them salmon, flounder, catfish, cod, trout, and most shellfish.